mean, I can't, I can't tell if it's on. Hold on, let me check. We good? Uh, the red light is on. We're good. Great. We're good, honey. Okay, little Patrick, are you ready? This is Patrick, our son, and he's giving his very first movie review of his favorite movie. It's Harry Potter. Go get him, Tiger. Go, son. Vade's dead. Um, like my mind and dad were saying, um, this is my first video review that I've ever done, and it's going to be on my very favorite, well, second favorite book of all time. It is second to the movie Dark Knight. Rest in peace, Heath. Um, and the book review is on Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, my favorite book slash movie of all time. And so, I'm just going to walk you through the plot of this story and just kind of tell you how it all goes down. So, first off, Harry Potter's mommy and dad are in their house and they love each other and they have Harry and he is just a little baby and he is just in a crib rocking slowly and quietly and then a bald man with no nose comes in, his name is Voldemort. And Voldemort comes in and he kills his mom and dad. And Harry's mom places a special pe spell of love on Harry. And Harry loves his mom. And so Harry's mom casts a spell. And Harry does not die because Voldemort tries to kill Harry. But Voldemort is actually killed by Harry's forehead. Which made the scar like this on my head. And so as Voldemort is dead... He then gets picked up by Dumbledore, the king of all wizards forever and ever in his wise beard. He is taken to a house full of fat people and Harry will be raised by these fatties for several years. And after the several years are complete, Harry gets mail. This mail simplifies and tells Harry that he is going to be accepted to go to the wizardry school that we all know as Hogwarts. Hogwarts is where Harry learns to be the biggest, uh, like, wizard of all time. And he meets his friends named, uh, first off, Rod Reasley. He has red head. He is very cool and awesome. And his girlfriend's name is Pheromone. She has a lot of pretty hair and she has cast spells on Harry to make them fall in love together. And as they are having a good time at Hogwarts, Harry becomes the best Quidditch player of all mankind. Or should I say wizard kind. And he just steps onto the field and on his broomstick and he's flying around and he catches this this Quidditch flying gold ball with his mouth. And it is the coolest thing. And everybody just says, Oh, Harry, he's the best. Oh, Harry, he's my friend. And everyone loves Harry. But then a darkness comes over the whole school of Hogwarts. And no one can stop it because it's Voldemort. Uh-oh, you thought he was dead because of earlier what I said. But he ain't dead, y'all. He has come back to find the Sorcerer Stone, which will give him infinite power and make him an immortal. Now, the seriousness of this is that it's actually real. I've done studies on of lots of things, and wizardry is real, and it is all real, and this book is actually based on a true story. That is why this is so scary. But let me continue. As Voldemort tries to seize this stone, Harry does the unthinkable. He kills Voldemort. Voldemort is dead for good. And everyone is trying to have a good time. And Harry is celebrating. He is doing powers to people. He's throwing his wine. He's throwing grenades. He is the biggest, coolest guy of all time. And the Sorceress Stone is safe. Harabody, I mean, uh, Pharaoh and him are together forever. And they kiss. And the bad guy, Voldemort, is dead for good. He is dead. The story is complete. 
but he's not actually dead because he comes back in the next movie, which I will talk about later on my very next show. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching my review. You guys are awesome. Best friends ever. I love you guys. Watch me on YouTube. Watch me all day long, and I'll be there for you. You'll be there for me. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.